So growing up, right, one of my huge idols in golf was Nick Faldo, right? You gotta remember just the late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, this guy was absolutely untouchable. His ball striking, especially his iron play, was so head and shoulders above everybody else. I mean, that's part of why he won six majors, Ryder Cup, you know, just killing people, doing so many amazing things. And he hit iron shots. He wasn't the longest hitter, even though he's a big man, right? Um, wasn't the, the longest hitter, but his iron shots were just, he could draw it, fade it. The sound of his ball, I watched him play in person multiple times. I mean, just an amazing golf swing. So definitely one that I've always tried to look to and emulate. Um, so let's take a look here. There's a quick little podcast from uh, the guys over Performance Golf, and Faldo's talking about what he thinks is one of the secrets of his iron play. So I was like, let's hear this. What, what would be his opinion on this? T take a listen. <laughs> And then I went back and defended, didn't I? Yeah. And then my iron shots through 1990 were really good. I just had the great, had very good rotation in my forearms. You know, I could really feel it. I could rotate it and control the club face. That was what was so good. So you could, you could really trap the golf ball. Yeah. Really got a really great crunch out of it. So I thought that was so interesting, right? Forearm rotation. Forearm rotation is what he felt was one of the secrets of his iron play, right? And it being just so dominant for so long. And then he also said, I don't know if you caught that, he said that he could rotate it, right? Meeting his forearms, and it would square the club face. Because most people don't think of it that way. They think that, you know, in order to square the club face, you've got to keep the club stable. And, you know, he's saying, no, I could rotate it and square the club face. So just amazing insights there. And I really feel like it's something that could help your golf game because I see so many golfers out there just not getting the forearm, the forearm rotation down correctly um, and not in a rhythmic pattern, right? That's the thing that you see with Faldo's golf swing. It is so amazingly rhythmic to boot. It's part of why he's able to hit so many good golf shots under pressure. A lot of that is rhythm. And you could say that, you know, kind of like a, a conductor conducting a lot of it starts with what's going on in our, in our arms and wrists. And once you find that rhythm in your arms and wrist, it starts to kind of go into your body. So um, I want to show you one thing that we're going to use today in today's lesson. It's called the straightaway. It's made by David Ledbetter. And if, for those of you who don't know, David Ledbetter partnered with Faldo. And it's, they totally changed his golf swing. And it's a perfect swing trainer to kind of get the forearm rotation going in the right way. So I hope you can see it here, kind of attaches to the shaft. Notice this yellow line here. I've got a yellow stick on the ground. That's kind of how I want you to start beginning to think about proper forearm rotation. And the straightaway, go ahead, it shows you that just right off the bat. So you see, as I go to take the golf club away, I want to have zero forearm rotation, absolutely nothing. And when it's done correctly, I can get this yellow line and that yellow stick on the ground to match up perfectly. Here's the big key. If you just do just this, like you see how small that was right there? That's going to throw off the forearm rotation for the remainder of the golf swing. Okay, And that's not something that Faldo did. So just two degrees of forearm rotation this way, that's going to start to make my forearms react in a negative manner. Okay, So what Faldo is doing there, and uh, in the takeaway, his forearms are not rotating at all. The club, you could say, is staying outside of his hands. I feel the weight of the shaft and the weight of the head here. He doesn't start rotating his forearms until the club transitions and he starts down. So he goes from basically full range of motion as far as forearms this way, change of direction. Now he's, imagine a steering wheel. His forearms are, are as much turned to the right as possible, right, coming down. And then what he talked about coming into the ball, I could rotate it and square the club face. So that's really the big key. So many golfers out there, right, probably the number one problem in golf is golfers rotate their forearms to start the backswing and the club goes inside or below plane. Sometimes you're a pretty good player even and you just do it just this much. That's still not going to allow you to swing the golf club correctly. That's why I love this swing trainer. It really, even when I put it on mine, I thought my takeaway was pretty good. 
I'm like, no, I'm, I'm st actually still rotating the club face some in my takeaway. So it really kind of irons out that takeaway issue that starts to affect transition, right? Release, impact, all those different areas. So what I want you to try to think about here is get it to your right thigh and stop. I can tell using this straightaway, right? I can feel the weight of the club outside my hand. I know my forearms have not rotated at all, okay? Now, I'm going to, from here, this is part of the drill, and this is how I want you to learn it, start your downswing now. And as I go to start my downswing from this position, my forearm's gonna rotate, my lower body's gonna lead, and now my forearms are turned this way as much as possible. That's really the big key, is getting to those end ranges of motion. Don't be in the middle. So many of you out there that are in here, and then when you come down, the club tends to do this. That's forearm rotation this way, and that's not what we want. So once I get to here, I'm gonna just stop and freeze. I've double checked my straightaway. I can see it's right in line with the, the yellow stick on the ground. From here, I'm gonna go, go ahead and just feel like I hit it, start my lower body down and hit it. And then actually felt great. That ball was 89 yards, not very far, dead straight, but I could feel my forearms going through that full range of motion. So no rotation, fully rotated uh, clockwise, and then down through impact, I feel full rotation coming back through. And I thought that was so interesting, him saying that, because many people that are trying to hit the ball straight, they're trying to really keep everything square and steady going through. And he's talking about how he was really kind of act actively and rhythmically moving his forearms as he was coming through. And I like that saying how he said, okay, he could rotate it and square it, and he felt like he could really trap the ball. So that's just that image of the club having more loft here, and then he felt like he could rotate it, trap it at impact, right? To really kind of keep his flight down. He talks a lot about how, you know, when him and Ledbetter first started working, his ball flight was too high, you know, it was up in the air, especially with the old golf ball, and he really learned how to kind of hit something that was more penetrating. And I, I know a lot of it had to do with some of this forearm rotation. Hey, it's your coach, Zach Allen here. And if you'd like to permanently eliminate your slice, add 20 or more yards to your drives, and make consistently flush contact swing after swing, then I've got just the thing for you. I'm about to show you a method that will fix your swing fast. In fact, we often see huge improvements on the very first swing. Since I don't have enough time in this short video, I've put together a three-part mini clinic where I walk you through the exact process nothing held back. I call it the one swing fix and you can get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link in the description below. The training isn't available anywhere else so go ahead click the link right now and I'll see you on the other side. All right now let's get back to today's lesson. So when you guys are working on it right freeze here don't take it back very far initiate with the lower body and just try to hit some small crisp piercing iron shots with this little compact golf swing. That does feel great. That was pretty straight again, 82 yards. And I can feel my forearms going through that full range of motion. You could kind of see him demonstrating it there as he was talking about it sitting in the chair. Get your forearms to work like that. Um, if you like the straightaway, I use it with a lot of my students. It really tends to fix a takeaway issue right off and I'm telling you it's one of the most common problems in golf is the takeaway going like this most people kind of overlook it because they start to see something else that happens on the way down that seems like a bigger deal but I'm telling you the root cause is in your takeaway so this thing is very simple the straightaway right it only does one thing but it does it perfectly well it will fix your takeaway once and for all if you're one of those persons that said, yeah, you know, I, I always kind of, I tend to take the club inside, uh, you know, but you know, I, I also, I early extend, I come over the top, I, I do other things. Trust me, it's rooted back to the takeaway. So I really believe in this swing trainer. It fixes things pretty much right off. It's very self-explanatory, very simple to use. If you want to take a look, there'll be a little description in the link below. You can click on it and take a look and see if it's something that you want to, um, you know, possibly purchase or look into getting. Other than that, I hope some of these stories about Faldo, Ledbetter, them working together, 
you know, Ledbetter coming up with this same swing trainer, because I know it had something to do with him trying to get his students to swing more like his model, Nick Faldo, right? Who wouldn't want to swing like that? I hope this stuff's helped you out. If you want to look at another video that possibly has some other things that'll help you with your takeaway, I've got one right up here. But other than that, I will see you next week. Have a great week.